If you're a graphic designer who uses tools like Figma or an entrepreneur who likes brainstorming with whiteboards, then I found the perfect tool for you. This tool is a Figma and Miro alternative that can be purchased for one time so you never have to pay a subscription fee again. Figma can cost $180 per year and Miro can cost $10 per month, but the tool I'm going to share with you can be purchased for one time at a ridiculously low price so you never have to pay for it again. This deal is available on AppSumo and will be going away soon, so if you think you ever need a tool like this, then keep watching and consider picking this one up. But can this tool really compare to Figma and Miro while being so cheap? Well, I'm going to show you how it compares so you can decide for yourself if it's worth getting this lifetime deal. So this is Pixo and it helps you enhance collaborative digital teamwork, prototype, design, program, and deliver seamlessly all in one tool. Pixo. So scrolling down, we can see some of the different features of Pixo, things like real-time collaboration, so you can get multiple people editing and creating things on a project at one time. Again, if you were to use something like Figma, you'd have to pay for that service to be able to get multiple people. Another feature is that it is an intelligent UI design tool. So it says that traditional products often require multiple tools to work together for a desired result. By contrast, Pixo owns component variants. Another feature is the high fidelity prototype, so interactive animation displays. So so you can see over here on the left, let's say if we clicked on this image and then we can drag and connect it to over here. And then if we click on display, it'll then allow you to be able to actually view what it would look like from a user perspective. Another feature is link delivery. So create clear and intuitive workflows. So on the left over here, we can see that if we were to share a project, we can easily share that project with other people. And then another feature is the online whiteboard. So we can do something similar to let's Let's say Miro, where we can create our whiteboard brainstorming on our projects. So this is actually one of the reasons why I was so interested in the tool, because I'm a big fan of Miro, but I don't want to pay the subscription fee for Miro. So using a tool like Pixo, I'll be able to get multiple people to be able to brainstorm on a specific board without having to pay those monthly fees, which is nice. So scrolling down, we could see who Pixo is targeted for things like product managers, designers, operators, developers, and project managers. When we continue to scroll down, we could see where Pixo fits into the ecosystem and Pixo allows you to be able to not have to switch between a bunch of different tools. You can actually use all these different tools from within Pixo. Scrolling down a little bit more, we can also see that there is a community feature built within Pixo. So you can actually copy other people's design processes and their different templates, and you can import that into your own account. When we go down to the bottom, we can see how Pixo actually compares to some of the more popular tools. So Figma, for example, if we click on this one, this takes us to a blog that is going to describe the differences between, let's say, Figma and Pixo. So scrolling down, we can see, again, the different types of compatibility file formats that you can use within Pixo, international collaboration, so you can have things in different languages. Looks like they have some different security permissions. They talk about the price and how it is a cheaper alternative to a tool like Figma. And then over here, we see some of the differences between Pixo and Figma. So differences in core features. So with Pixo and Figma, they they both have compatibility with multiple platforms. They both have intelligent layouts. They both have logic link between interactions. And this is where Pixo is actually different than Figma. With Pixo, there's a shared component and format libraries. Not too sure what that means. They both have multiplayer real-time collaboration. They both have high fidelity prototype and interactions. Both have one-click delivery. Pixo is different than Figma in that Figma only has a community feature where Pixo actually has a resource library so you can copy other people's templates and use that in Pixo, which is pretty cool. And I'll show you that in a little bit. And then some other Pixo only features are things like customized private deployment, multiple language system, and a high cost performance. All right, so now I'm gonna show you inside of Pixo and what it's like. So when we click on go to workspace, I've already imported some different resources. So starting off on the left-hand side, we have things like recents, drafts, favorites, explore community. And when we click on explore community, it'll take us to the community feature. I'll show you this community feature in just a minute, but I'm gonna go back and then we're just gonna finish this over here. So over here, we have a team folder so you can create a new team. And then once you've created your team, this is what it looks like. So you can have, let's say, dedicated people assigned to specific projects. So over here, I have a project one, which is a team resource library. And if I wanted to add another project, we could do that directly from here. We could either add a whiteboard or design file or design and whiteboard. Within this team, we'll be able to see all the projects. We can see who are the members, any resources that are shared. We have settings for this particular team and then a recycle bin. 
For the starter team, we have up to one gigabyte of data that were available to use within the whiteboard storage. Going back to the recent section, we have a new design file, a new whiteboard, or we could import some of those different project files. So I'm going to show you what one of these design files looks like, as well as the whiteboard. I can either create a new design file, which is just going to give me a blank template. Because I'm not a designer, I'm not super savvy with some of these features. So I'm going to show you what some of these pre-built project files look like. So clicking on the community feature, it takes us to the Pixo resource community. And then we can see down here all of the different projects that people have created, as well as how many people have viewed it and how many people have copied it. So if I just click on, let's say the most popular, we can see some of the most popular designs that are available. So a lot of different types of projects that have been created within Pixo. This one looks kind of interesting, a crypto dashboard. If I click on this, I'm going to click on copy and then it's going to copy the file to our draft box. Now I'm going to open the file and this is what it looks like. Now I'm not a graphic designer. I'm not somebody that uses Figma. So I really can't talk too much on what these different features are within Pixo. I would just recommend going and trying out the design project features yourself. But you can see some of the different tools over here by me just kind of clicking on them to show you what they are. And then clicking on these different elements, we just have some different design features. So this is just one of the types of projects that you could build out in Pixo. Another way that you might be designing is a website. So if I click on this one, we can see a website layout over here. This was again inside of the community. So just scrolling in, looks like this is the mobile version of what the site would look like. And then we have the website version right there. We have different layers and different frames that we could play around with. We can move things again, not a designer, but this is a pretty cool feature that you would have to pay a premium for using a tool like Figma. Going back, I'm going to show you what the whiteboard feature looks like. So if we click on on the whiteboard file that I previously made. So this is the whiteboard, very similar to Miro. On the left-hand side, we have things like our templates. So we can see all the templates that are available within Pixo. So they have a good amount, maybe not as many as Miro. Again, these are just ones that are pre-built. And then we can just import any one of those. You can see I already imported this one. It has all of the same functionality that you could expect within Miro. Things like the sticky notes, the shapes, draw, the link connector, you do a table, any one of these layouts. Pixo also has an AI assistant. So if you want help with generating ideas or mind maps or whatever, you can just ask a question and it will help you to be able to do that. Looks like you do have a limit on the amount of points that you get per month. But let's say I am trying to create YouTube content and need help with brainstorming. So if I click on, let's say, add to canvas, it looks like it is just putting in whatever the text. So it looks like it's just a chat GPT type of ability to be able to import text directly into Pixo so you don't have to copy and paste it over. Like I said, this tool is available on AppSumo, which means we have a lifetime deal available. So let's check out what some of the features of that lifetime deal are and what you get. So if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see the plans and features with the $59. So the tier one plan, you get lifetime access to Pixo. You get all future whiteboard and design professional plan updates. If the plan name changes, deals will be mapped to the new plan name. So you don't get locked into an old one. You get moved over to whatever the new one is. There's no codes, no stacking. Just choose whatever plan is right for you. You have the ability to upgrade between the four different license tiers or downgrade. However you choose within all the plans, you get that Pixo design and Pixo whiteboard. When we go over to Pixo, we can see that the design feature is $6 a month. And then the whiteboard feature is $4 a month. But with the AppSumo plan, you get the Pixo design and Pixo whiteboard included. You get unlimited teams and collaborators, advanced vector network, developer handoff, private and team projects, and then integration with third party tools. And when you get the tier one license, you can get three editors working on a project at the same time. You get 50 gigabytes of whiteboard space, 3000 total AI credits, and then one professional team workspace, unlimited team projects and file pages, as well as permanent version history storage. Upgrading to the tier two plan, you can get 10 editors working on the same time, 200 gigabytes of whiteboard space, 10,000 AI credits, as well as all of the other features. And then as you upgrade, let's say to the maximum, you could have up to 35 editors, 700 gigs of whiteboard file space capacity, 30,000 total AI credits, and then all of the other same features. So you can pick whatever plan works best for you. But for $59, I think that's a pretty good steal when you compare it to Figma and Miro, because with Figma, for example, you'd be paying $144 since you have to pay annually just for the professional plan. And then for Miro, it's $8 a month for the starter plan. So if you were to pay for the starter plan for a little over seven months, you would have paid off that lifetime Pixo deal. Figma and Miro are great tools, but to get all of the benefits, you need to pay
pay a monthly fee. So using a tool like Pixo is a great alternative at an affordable price. So if you want to see lifetime deals on cool new software just like this one before they disappear, then turn on notifications and watch this video next to see another lifetime deal before it goes away soon.